which guy's price point draws and pulls you in, Pierce? Well, the short answer is you're probably going to want to pay up. Now, if you pay for Tom Brady, it's going to be tough to get these top-tier running backs, but they're sitting there right at the top. Uh, they've all performed well. They're all in good spots. So you can't really go wrong with Joe Mixon. You can't go wrong with Jonathan Taylor. And I would even put Austin Eckler in that category based on his uh, ability to receive uh, passes against the Cincinnati team that struggles against receiving running backs. But where I'm going to go, I'm going to try to save some money so that I can at least afford one of those running backs. Is look at Ty Johnson. I know he didn't really do that much last week because he just didn't get the volume. But in his six rushes, he had 42 yards. He's also in a good matchup against Philadelphia. They rank 21st against the run. They've allowed the second most fantasy points to running backs, uh, seventh most to receiving running backs, which is what his role is supposed to be. He hasn't really seen that yet, and we haven't seen Zach Wilson check down to the running backs very much. It should happen at some point. Also, Philadelphia 27th in adjusted rushing yards, allowing 4.7 yards per carry. If they just give him the volume, and I don't know why they're messing around with Tevin Coleman, but they are, but he doesn't need that much of a bump in usage to really get over and to work in lineups this week. Jules, another spot you're going to pay up at running back? I think that, I mean, running back is a position you want to get one of those guys at the top. Like the spot that Jonathan, you could argue Jonathan Taylor's in as good a spot as you'll see for a running back all season. So if there's ever a time to spend that 9,200 and he's almost a thousand dollars more than any running back on the slate, um, yeah, you can convince me to do that. And if that means finding other, you know, rostering Brady and finding other places to pay down, uh, then sure. Or if you're making me choose between paying up, I think Taylor's the safer spot to pay up. And I'll do what Pierce does and find another quarterback uh, to pay down for and go off Brady. Hopefully find a quarterback that actually lines up under his center and not the, the guard on fourth down. <laughs> but nonetheless, a spot to pay down. But if, I, if I'm paying down a little bit or at least mid-range at running back to pair with a guy like Taylor... I like Eli Mitchell um, on San Francisco. Hopefully the lead job is is still all his. We'll see how injuries shake out. But last time out, 27 carries for a buck 33, 30 DraftKings points against Minnesota. Um, and the week before, you know, only with the buy in between, the week before, only nine DraftKings points against the Rams. But the 27 carries tell you what you need to know. So going against a Seattle defense, on a short week that we just saw, you know, doesn't have it anymore. The way it, Seattle can be can be attacked through the air easily, um, but they're pretty bad against the ground um, against the ground game too, among the worst in the league. So if you're telling me that Eli Mitchell is going to be anywhere in the ballpark of the 27 carries that he's gotten in the last two games for San Francisco, he's a guy I'm very interested in at six thousand bucks. Mm -hmm.